So one thing that was super important to me is I said, we need to have checks and balances that said, even the guy who started it is not above it and is constrained by some behavior. And they have an expectation that before we make a claim, the claim is checked by independent people who are outside of the system who are equally qualified to verify that that claim is right. The other thing is it gives you a decentralized brain. You know, when I talk about 900 citations for the GKL paper, that means 900 groups of scientists read the paper and thought that it was connected in some way to what they were doing and cited it. And a corollary to that is that it makes it truly universal because universities are everywhere. You can invite Ethiopian universities, you can invite Korean universities, you can invite everybody. So even if I can't do business there or there's no commercial viability there, there's smart people there. And now you have a lingua franca where you can communicate with those people and then they can ask you questions and show you things and so forth. And and so I felt it was so incredibly important because if these protocols really are going to be the next big thing, they are going to run your life. They're going to be in charge of your identity, your privacy, your bank account, your payment system. They're going to be in charge of the way you vote. They're going to be in charge of the deed for your house and all these types of things. Why in God's name would you entrust a 25-year-old kid in Silicon Valley with this move fast and break thing idea to burden you for the next 40 years with a horrible system? Why don't we do things right? Ethereum, Polkadot, Cardano. Ethereum has been at the proof of stake game a year longer than we have. We ship proof of stake first, despite the fact that we did it peer review. Polkadot used Ouroboros, our protocol, as their starting point for their, their ecosystem. So our primary competitors either copy us or took longer to get to market, despite the fact that they were following a move fast and break things mentality. So you, you spend a lot more time up front, but because you are building on granite, and they're compositional. Every protocol layers on top of the next protocol. You actually have a huge hockey stick of acceleration on the back end. And then you end up getting much better protocols. And they're transnational instead of around a cult of personality around an individual or a company. And if you're truly committed to decentralization, I think that's actually the only way to, uh, to get there long term.